We cannot deny that we filmmakers once been annoyed on how small our camera monitor is, let alone some cameras with non-articulating screen. So, we dreamt on having a camera monitor to aid us on getting crispy footages and also for aesthetics. As we went to search for it on online stores, bro, these prices are so high. And as a beginner filmmaker like most of us, being practical is very essential, especially our gears are practically our investment and the pricier the gear, the longer the ROI. I didn't mean to be a business guru, but making the most out of your money is the best thing you can do as a beginner. So, in this video, I will show you how I built this cheap $12 camera monitor and how useful it can be for filmmakers. So, let's begin! I found this Raspberry Pi 3.5 inch monitor on Shopee, which is one of the best go-to online store in Southeast Asia for just $12 and it came with display chip already and HDMI port, so I didn't have to buy it separately. I'm sorry if I didn't film the unboxing process cause I was so excited to see if this monitor is working properly on a camera, which is not supposed to be, but it works. For the frame, I used popsicle sticks to give it a little shape and width to fit it to the case perfectly. I know I know popsicle sticks isn't the best material to use for that monitor because it is likely to burn when something overheats but if it works, it works. And it is, this is just a prototype and it's not permanent so I'll just wait and see if I have certain materials that I can put there instead of the popsicle sticks. Then I applied carbon fiber sticker. This is one of the most difficult part of this build which is finding the perfect body for the monitor since it didn't came with the case itself. Luckily, I saw plastic tray casing for screws that has perfect shape for a small camera monitor. So, I emptied it and transferred the content to the container and used this tray for the monitor casing. After cutting some holes for the port, I applied some carbon fiber stickers for protection and aesthetics. Not gonna lie, I can say that this was pretty good looking. For the base, I used this V-shaped metal with holes to connect the monitor mount. I drilled the hole on the base in order to screw the monitor mount. Then for the monitor mount, I bought this monitor mount for less than $2 so I can easily attach the monitor to the camera. For the cables, I used HDMI to mini HDMI to connect the monitor from the main source which is the camera. Then for the power source, I have this 10,000mAh power bank connected to the monitor via micro USB which is also powers my camera. And this is what it looks like. Honestly, I didn't expect that it will turn out great. Definitely better than the stock camera screen. If it is just for adjustable camera screen that you are looking for and you didn't care about the focus speaking, color correction, and other features of camera monitors, this is your best choice. You can buy bigger Raspberry Pi monitors if you wanted to, but for me, I like to make things small and compact so I choose this monitor size. I've used this camera monitor a couple of times on gigs and honestly I am pretty amazed since I am using my two 10,000mAh power bank to power both my camera and this monitor. And it took me a whole 3 hour event to empty out one fourth of my power bank, which is quite impressive. And I can adjust the brightness by pressing this button on the top if I am shooting outdoors. <laughs> you guys kind of like share comment and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this i'll be reviewing more budget tech and camera equipment in the future so guys stay tuned